extraordinaire director whose new play is premiering like in an hour. Yeah. Grace, why are you here and not doing something <laughs> I don't know. Else? What is going on with you? Tell us about yourself. Tell yeah. us about the new play. Yeah, I'm a theater director. Um, I have a company called the Wool Gatherers Theater Group. <gasps> Uh, is that like, named after the play The Wool Gatherer? It's not. We oh. found out about that after <laughs> oh. we founded the company. Okay. Uh, it's <laughs> Sorry, the I love that play. <laughs> the Wool Gatherers comes from like, you know, when there's shepherds, uh -huh. um, wool is really precious, but the sheep like wander around really randomly and the wool gets stuck on like brambles and stuff. And so at the end of every day, they'd have to send out a wool gatherer to like collect the precious bits of wool to sell them. The wool gatherer had to follow the path of the sheep, so the wool gatherer follows like a very meandering, random path that gets lost in daydreams. So that's where our name comes from. I mean, I don't want to like make a, you know, I don't want to like dampen our wool here, <laughs> but, but, you know, we are talking about problems on the show. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. What's another problem that's on your mind? Okay, I have a serious one. Is that okay? Because the party is fun, but the problem's serious. Of course, we may look like this. Are you going to do okay. a I can do like a, a pretend serious face for while I say this. Okay. Here's my problem. This is something I've been struggling with for a long time. Since 2016, actually. Wait, I think <laughs> I know it might be. <laughs> is uh, your problem the truth? Well, no, the problem is, yes. The problem is, Not like, sure what do we do? Like, what's the point of art? Like, <laughs> like in a world where there's kids in cages and like we're in a country where there's actually like a major humanitarian crisis happening right now what's the value of us as artists and like shouldn't we all just quit our jobs and become social workers and like I do I believe that all art is inherently revolutionary and that like making art is a radical act and also is it though <laughs> that's my question oh yeah sure. I guess we'll just get our typewriter and I like, cry light on the world stage. A hushed audience waits for us to imagine it. Now, in a world of crisis, we apply our labors to every scene, elevating our ideals to heal what is imagined and what is real. The battle may not be at the blade, but in words or upon the stage. Wow! They're both actually kind of concrete. I love that they're both about theater. Do you always do that? Do you make them specific to the person? We well, like them to be we relevant. Like, yeah, we like them to be wow. relevant. Wow! Yeah, and like, and like, they're well, yeah, they're both about theater, but they're also both about imagine imagination and escape and dreaming, which is cool because that's like what I do. Escape, dream, that's something. That's why we don't become a social worker just yet. <laughs> or just I, now. I, I think that was the concrete answer. Though. Was <laughs> you don't go back to school for social work right this second. At least get through the run of your play, which, by the way, so what? It oh, yeah. Was today. And, and where are they? It's at Me Too 580 in Guanas. Yeah, it's at 8 p.m., 25th through the 28th of April. And where can people follow you on the internet so they can know um, about all your stuff? That's a great question. Let me think. What <laughs> are my handles? Uh, my company on Instagram is at the Wool Gatherers. So, go see the show. Go see Romeo and Juliet remixed or reimagined. Mm -hmm. And also, 